I saw a Six of Wands came out, and you see how she's got a globe here, like a trophy, almost like recognition, right? Um, victory, success, rewards. And then I pulled a different deck, but I had no plan on using it, and I turned it over and saw achievement. And she is holding this, say, a cup or an award. So I feel like y'all have something good coming in. We'll see what the energy is that's coming out, but let's pull some future energy on what's coming yeah look at this celebrations and angel celebrations and angel the number two and the number five some 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 a gift from an angel from uh, from up above is getting ready to come your your way you are ready to bring new and exciting things into your life your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey so right now you're about to be guided on a new journey I just saw the unicorn. Let's see. What do my singles have to expect? What's next for my singles here? Holy Spirit. What's next for the singles? Yeah, the owl. So wise energy here. Definitely you guys are receiving some form of uh, spiritual messages. You're being guided, okay? This could come in the form of a dream. This can come in the form of a message being sent to you, a thought. It could come through somebody saying something to you and it just clicks in your head, okay? There are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition. So right now, if you are feeling like you're in a period of transition where maybe things are stagnant or you're not where you want to be yet or you've been working hard on something what else do we have and this is the number 23 okay which reduces to a five again there's some form of change getting ready to take place place what's next for the singles transformation there you're breaking free from something and leaving something behind and moving towards something new that's just what this is okay it's a good transformation whatever you're stuck with it says beach out for the power i'm sorry beach out what what you could be going to the beach maybe you need to go to the beach here maybe that's why i saw this water and it reminded me of the beach this really says reach out okay for the power and the strength to make changes enrich your life and become the person that you want to be so this could be you taking steps to just you getting a download or having a dream or being guided to go do something that is going to change your life or essentially put you where you want to be what's next for my singles and this is the 32 at three and three plus two makes five and we have 23 there's some mirroring happening here 23 and 32 the birth of something new is getting ready to happen the number four it says universal energy brings you opportunity and possibility mm -hmm. see what's going on here for my collective please my singles Show me more about this new trans transformation energy and this new birth energy. This new opportunity and this new possibility. Two of pentacles. So there's a need for you to be adaptable, to be flexible, okay? To be open. To There may even be a need for you to change something here. It's almost like maybe you get this aha moment, it looks like to me, you know, to change something or just make some form of adjustment. And that adjustment actually is going to work in your favor, okay? Show me more. The Fool. Yeah. The Fool card. You're going to have a new beginning here. Um, I, I mean, Aries energy. Aquarius energy with the Fool. Show me more for the collective. Whoa. Show me more for the collective. My singles. These cards are like super slippery, y'all. Ah. Hold on. It just had two cards fly out. Some pinnacle energy. This could be a job. This could be somebody searching for a new job. This could be someone looking for the right candidate. It's like there's a job that needs to be done. And the only person that could do it is you. Okay, page of swords, uh, page of pentacles energy. It's like 
you might get news of a job offer. You might be getting news of, of like a new opportunity, right? Because the Page of Pentacles is something new. And the Page of Swords is like, it's finding you or you are finding this new beginning. Because this page is looking directly at the Fool. And the Fool is looking direct, it's facing directly towards this Two of Pentacles. So this, this new opportunity is going to require you to be flexible. It's going to require you to adapt. There might be a change in your finances here. But I feel like that change might be temporary or it may require you to spend some money or do something here. Show me more. Someone here may have two children. Okay, you could have an air sign uh, girl and an earth sign that's a boy here. And uh, the boy may have a cat. Or one of your sons may your spirit is saying, I'm telling the truth here. This is about communication. You could be receiving news of a job offer or a new opportunity, or this is about clarity, this is about communication, this is about victory, also, okay, with this ace of swords energy. Um, the two of swords. All right, what, what's going on here? I feel like you're gonna be undecided. You're going to like really be thinking too overthinking this. Don't overthink it is what I'm getting judgment energy. I feel like you're going to be overthinking this. Show me more for my singles. What's coming next? The star. The star, Aquarius energy. Whatever this this opportunity is, it's a wish fulfillment. The star is falling underneath the page of pentacles. This is a new offer. Or a new opportunity that you really are going to enjoy and you're going to love. This is something you've been waiting on for quite a while, okay? Seven of Pentacles. Maybe this is something you have experience in doing or you've been doing this for a while or you've been waiting on this for quite a while. Six of uh, Cups is also here on the bottom of the deck with the Seven of Pentacles. So this is like, maybe this could be somebody that you knew from a past job or you've worked with this person in the past before. Or this could be something that you've done for a very long time that you have a lot of experience in, okay? Or or something you've just been waiting on a long time. Okay. So show me more here about what's coming in for my collective. So we have Scorpio energy here with judgment. The star Aquarius. I feel like when you get this phone call or you get this communication, you're going to be like, I don't know. You might be researching. Do I really want to do this? Listen. Make sure you make up your mind, okay? The changes are better. The changes are going to enrich your life. This is positive. It's going to help you become the person that you want to be or get you where you want to be when it comes to your career, your stability, um, make you feel connected to something, passion, purpose, whatever it is, okay? It's bringing you, it's opening the door to a new possibility for your life. So show me what my singles, what's, come, what's next for my singles? triumphic success that ace of swords we have the ace of swords out here twice i'm telling you you are going to receive some form of download here with crown chakra L make sure you're listening closely make sure you're meditating make sure you're getting enough rest make sure you're getting enough sleep you slow down give yourself some time to slow down so you can really listen to god when god is talking to you okay listen to spirit when spirit is talking to you I feel like this is going to come through some form like you're going to be guided. You see on this spiritual success, I'm sorry, spiritual strength. Spiritual strength is like um, the nine of wands to me. You see how spirit is like upholding and lifting this thing up, right, for the person that's standing here. But I don't know if y'all can see this. There's somebody third eye like it right here. It's like that's what that represents for me. Spirit is like guiding you or trying to tell you something. Okay, they're trying to tell you something. This is like nine of wands energy is energy, you know, of like having worked really hard, being resilient, being powerful, having the courage to do something, like having the willpower, not giving up, you know, that kind of energy. The bottom of the deck is destiny. This is something that is destined for you. Um, Wheel of fortune energy. Um, show me more about this. Whoa. Yeah. So suffering and silence came out in reverse though. Um nine of swords. Are you stressed? If you are stressed right now, you're not gonna be stressed for very long. Okay. I just feel like y'all have really been through some things. 
you've been through some things, but moving forward, you're breaking free from whatever had you in this chain energy or stuck to something or feeling a certain kind of way, whether you have been, uh, regardless of what you've been unhappy with, with in your own life, okay? Victory and success. Yeah. Look at this. Cannot make it up. And what came out with it was recognition and reward. I'm telling you, you guys are getting something so good here. I, I mean, after a time period of like, what was that? Yeah, rest and rejuvenate. Didn't I say make sure that you are getting your um, rest, right? Making sure you're you're getting your proper sleep. Making sure you're doing whatever you can so you can slow down and listen to spirit. The spirit is trying to tell you something. But I do feel like you've been in an energy of like feeling a little bit discontent. And you've been through some hardships and it's been rough for you. You know, or you're not completely happy here. Okay. And this person is meditating here with this rest and rejuvenation energy. He's sitting Indian style with his hands out and his hand, his head bowed. Maybe you need to pray and talk to God about it. Make sure you're resting and getting some sleep and paying attention to what your dreams are telling you. Okay. Movement, choices, and decisions. That's that two of pentacles energy. Okay. Um, we already talked about this. Some of y'all have several options you're about to have several changes in your life okay but this is growth this is expansion because i'm seeing like a tree a seedling that's like uprooted and sprouted and it's closed right now but it will open also too i'm seeing money and one one opportunity one door and i'm seeing two rings so there could be a partnership that's going to come in money's going to be improving i feel like with this opportunity you may even find love. I feel like you're getting ready to have a lot of different changes in your life with this birth energy and this transformation. Your life is about to change. Solitude. Have y'all been in solitude? Have y'all been seeing 999? We got three nines out here, by the way. Um, material heart. Oh, wow. So we have four nines. This is like nine of pentacles energy. With the hermit, you could be a Virgo, okay? Um, you could be a Sagittarius. You could be any sign, honestly, but um, wow. I feel like a lot of y'all have been just sticking to yourselves, working on something, working on your craft, or like quietly working on something for some of y'all, okay? Money, like I said, is gonna, going to be improving here. You might be learning something new. Whatever you learn new, whatever you're, you might be guided to learn something new and whatever this is that you're studying and learning, because the Page of Pentacles is here with the Page of Swords too. Like if you want are interested in learning a new skill here, that's going to open doors, okay? It's going to give you a new opportunity or it's going to open up a new pathway for you. And that pathway that that's going to open, whatever this thing is that you're learning or adjusting or changing, it's going to bring a material harvest and a partnership in. For some of y'all, that partnership could be love. It could be money, career, and both are purpose, okay? All right. What, what else here for my singles? What's in coming in next? All right. I don't know why they... Triumph. Third eye chakra. I'm telling you, we got um, crown chakra here and the third eye chakra with triumph. You... We already talked about this, right? Your third, we talked about your crown chakra, making sure you're getting rest, paying attention to your dreams. You're going to get a download, right? Spirit is literally trying to communicate with you, okay? You might even be just, you know, spiritually ascending, and whatever this information is that's coming through the, that you're receiving from God and from spirit is really going to change something here. It's like you're being guided and told, and you're receiving this information. And it, it's just going to take off. It's just going to take off. Wow. Can you tell us what this authority? There goes that emperor energy. There, there goes that energy, emperor energy. You might be, you're just in this real big boss energy is what I'm getting here. Like, can you tell me a little bit more about this triumph and in, in, triumph energy? The, so, the sacral chakra. Did anything else flip over? So you're getting confidence. This is, has something to do with your confidence. You, you feeling confident. Um, 
one more for triumph. Conflict and defeat. So you are going to be overcoming some form of conflict here. So if you're going through any sort of like having inner conflict with yourself or conflict with anybody else and you're feeling like, damn, when is this going to give up? When is this going to change? It is going to change. Harmony and balance is going to be restored here. Like I said, you might even have a partnership coming in. Can we get more information on this triumph energy? Can you clarify triumph energy? The moon and the fool. Pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. Confidently. Yeah, that's basically what I was saying. You are moving forward with confidence, right? You're feeling more confident. You're successful at something with this. You're about to be, if even if that's not where you're feeling like where you are now, but with this moon energy and then on the bottom of the deck is the fool. And this, there's another mirroring number here. The fool is 12 in this deck. And this says, have the courage to embrace change. Take risk and be adventurous. Don't sit on this for too long. I think you're supposed to act on this from what I'm seeing here. And then the moon is the number 21. Y'all might be seeing a lot of nines. Um, you might be seeing a lot of fives. You you may be seeing a lot of mirroring numbers like 23, 32, or 12 and 21, or 12, 12, like something of that nature. That's a sign from the universe, and this probably is going to resonate for you, okay? Some of y'all could be seeing 222 two, two also, but this is good. So I'm going to read The Fool, and then we're going to end your reading. The Fool is number 12. And I feel like this whole reading is about you having the courage to embrace some form of change because this change is going to be good. But I feel like you're just going to be like, oh, this feels too risky. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It says this card symbolizes a time of unlimited potential and the need to set forth on a new journey. One that is totally unknown and could see you in uncharted territories. Go. Adventure awaits you. You may have felt as though you are in a rut. Are you scared of change? That was that like nine of wands energy and that um, conflict energy. You know what I'm saying? Like you maybe feel a little confused and, um, you know, just anywho. That was that energy we saw. It says, get out of your comfort zone. Um, it's time to take risk and be assertive, bold, and daring. A new way of living is opening up for you. Fresh experiences and lots of travel will be presented. And most of all, you will be free from worries and burdens. Holy Spirit. You see this. We talked about this. But the chain, breaking free. Thank you, Lord. I love this for y'all. Okay. It says, you have the ability, strength, and courage. That was that spiritual courage you had. I'm telling you, spirit is going to give you the strength and the courage to keep pushing. It says, enjoy new hobbies or sporting activities as they are vital in settling the fast-paced energy that surrounds this card's vibe. Your restless energy may be tough on close relationships, though. You'll need to space yourself I'm sorry, you'll need your space. That was that solitude energy we saw. And if your partner is clinging by a clinging vine, then they may not understand why you are so unsettled. Tread lightly. Singles could find love easily while tra traveling to wild and exotic destinations. This is an ideal time for finding soulmates while traveling around wide open spaces such as parks, the country, or the beautiful ocean. Remember I said beach? <laughs> When it was really reach, you might meet somebody at the beach or something or traveling to a beach or something. All right. Now, career. This card encourages you to reinvent yourself. Learning new skills, studying, and improving yourself will see, see you attract outstanding opportunities. Now is an excellent time for fresh ventures and complete career changes. New jobs will manifest for some while others will find different projects different projects that are exciting freshen up with a cosmetic makeover or a new hairdo or clothes yeah some of y'all might be changing up your look because that queen of wands um and with all these other changes like in that birth card is just definitely giving like makeover and i think we did talk about like you learning a new skill here um so yeah that was good reading let me know in the comments if it resonated. Um, let's do a yes or no question for you guys. I used to do yes or no questions all the time. 
You can pause the video if you want to think about your question. Okay. So let's do a yes or no question. Subscribe to the channel if anything resonated for you. If you need a personal reading, that information is down below in the description box. I am open for personal readings right now, okay? What is the answer to my collective's question? What is the answer to my collective's question, please, Holy Spirit? All right. The answer is yes. I can't make it up. Six of Wands. How many times have we seen the Six of Wands, y'all? <laughs> Look at this energy. Who gonna stop you? Who gonna stop you? Huh? Nobody. And you looking good while you're doing it, male or female, it don't matter. And underneath, check this out, y'all. Underneath achievement, because I just picked the card up from the bottom of the deck. Look, look what's underneath achievement. Gift. You got a gift coming from the universe, honey. From the universe. Love y'all. See you later. Bye.